Hi guys, something a little bit different today. We're at Mustang Motorsport with MD Craig Dean. It's a balmy summer day in Melbourne and we're taking a closer look at their facility, the awesome builds they've got in process and our engine oil cooler kit for the Mustang 2015 to now 2019 models. So Craig, you've been doing this a long time. How long's the business been up and running? Uh, well, we actually come out of the 28th year. So Excellent. Long time, yeah. And it's a fairly uh, diverse selection of muscle cars here. You've got Vipers, Demons, yeah. Mustangs. Yeah, we started out doing everything back in the early days when we, I was hands-on, yep. so to speak. And uh, over the years we've grown and you know, we specialise in Mustangs for quite a long time, obviously, because yep. that was the, the mark that was most popular for Australia. Yep. Um, back when they were left-hand drive only. Back, yeah, that's right, yeah. before the uh, 15 model came out of Australia. Yeah. And uh, obviously we've had to fill that conversion gap, so we've gone over the Mopar stuff and, yep. and a few F-150s and things like that, which keeps the boys yep. busy. So the Shelby Super Snake, it's no ordinary Mustang, and I can see a pretty exciting 18 build over my right shoulder, so tell us a little bit more about these. these okay, cars. well the two cars, again, that's a Super Snake, but a wide-body Super Snake that we've put together. Uh, so it's in its final stages and we're just putting a big engine in it. The one here, this is in its embryo stage, I guess. We've fitted up the front, uh, all the wide body panels, the hood, the bumper bars, all there. And now we're just fitting up the rear section and uh, before paint. So both Super Snakes? Both Super Snakes, and this one's a 17, and this one's an 18, yeah. It's got um, huge brakes on it from Brembo, and so big stoppers. It's got different uh, stub axles, they're off GD350. Uh, and that just brings the, the track out. So it makes it all fit right and engineered correctly. Yeah, it sounds like it'll be pretty lively. Yeah. Um, you've got a long history with Tarmac Rally, so you've been competing for, what, over 20 years now? Yeah, 22 yeah. years I've been doing it. Yeah. And uh, we've been, uh, yeah, I guess, connecting with our streetcar event that we've been doing for about four years, and you've done uh, quite well over the years. But there's definitely been a lot of talk within the Mustang community, the enthusiasts, about the engine oil cooler and, and the factory issues. Uh, we saw Matt from BPR at Husky a couple of years ago have that failure with the, the fire under the car at, at Winston. So Harrop's introduced an engine oil cooler kit. You've sampled it on the Tarmac Rally car and you've been impressed, but this Shelby's also getting it as well? Yeah, yeah, because it's going to have high power, you know, big heat, so we want to keep, you know, give it the best chance with the oil cooling and everything else that works in that area. Yeah, it's important to keep the temperatures down and the oil's the highest fluid temperature medium in the, in the whole engine package. Yeah, well, um, what I've found over the years is that a lot of these supercharged cars, particularly the ones that we do as a, a special build or even the standard GT500, did heat build at the top end of the of the mountains. Um, just high climb, you know, high rates, low speeds, yep. just really working those those engines hard and revving them high. Yep. Uh, they just get a heat build and eventually you generate to temperatures that is not yep. really liking to engine durability. Yep. We've tested a few uh, oil coolers on the cars. Obviously we've got radiators we've done to the limit as far as we can go. Yep. So really oil's the next chance. So after um, finding out that you've built uh, an oil cooler that's uh, a bit different to the others, which is out of the airstream of the radiators and everything else, yep. we thought, well, let's have a look at that. And um, we've trialled it and tested it, and it actually brings our temperatures down by about 20 degrees. Excellent. No, that's excellent feedback, and it's a perfect test bed. Like, not many Mustangs get driven to the, that, that limit. So, Heath, you've, we've got all the components here for that cooler kit that we've been talking about. So what inspired you to actually do this? Well, our engineers identified that the market needed an upgrade from factory, and there's a number of alternatives on the market that you've experienced. Um, so we developed the kit, did a lot of comparative work with the factory unit, both from a performance point of view and just durability. So we're using a CTRAB core, high quality heat exchanger. It's relatively thin, but it's long, so the surface area is great. The lines and fittings are from Speedflow, so they're made in Australia. They're a Dash 10, and crucially, the oil flow, the pressure drop is minimal. We've compared that to the factory, it's only one to two PSI. And we channel that through the engine with this billet piece that also crucially replaces that factory cooler. So we're taking away that potential failure mode and having a more durable, high performing system. Yep, so, um, so what's this made up of? What does this actually do in turn? It looks pretty bulky. So this bolts onto the side of the block with some O-rings. Uh, the fittings come in here to uh, feed the oil basically into the block, into the galleries. Yeah. And it's 6061 aluminium, uh, fully machined and anodised for, for surface finish durability. Yep, yeah. and uh, so this has got a thermostat in it as well, hasn't it? Yes. 
So there you go, you can run a Harrop oil cooler on your car and be confident that it's going to stay cool.